Today we're going to learn how to multiply and divide complex number in trig form. But before that, let's learn how to change our complex number into its standard form. Let's say we have 3 cosine 45 degrees plus I sine 45 degrees and we want to change it or simplify it to its standard form. All you have to do is to use your unit circle and find the actual value of the given angle. So for the first part, we know that cosine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2 and sine 45 degrees is square root of 2 over 2. Now since 3 is outside your parentheses, you can distribute 3 to 2 square root of 2 and 2 squared of 2, therefore you're, you're ha you'll have 3 squared of 2 over 2 plus i squared of 2 over 2. And this will be our standard form. Now, this is also considered to be a complex number because you have a real part and imaginary part. What we're doing is we're simply making it pretty basic by changing or using the actual value of your cosine 45 degree from the unit circle. Now it's true to number 2 as well. So if we have cosine 390 degrees plus I sine 390 degrees multiplied by square root of 3, we can simplify this complex number into its standard form. And by using the unit circle, we know that 390 degrees is not in the 0 to 360 degree range. So what we need to do is to subtract 390 and hope that it's going to be inside the radical or inside the unit circle if we make it smaller. And in the process, we found out that 390 minus 360 will give you 30 degrees. And for this particular angle, it's now in the unit circle so we can further simplify the complex number to its standard form. So cosine 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2 and sine 30 degrees is 1 half. And by sub um, distribution, we can distribute this here and here and we'll have square root of 3 times square root of 3 which gives you 3 and square root of 3 times 1 is simply square root of 3. Therefore, you'll have 3 over 2 plus i square root of 3 over 2 as your standard form for your complex number. Now we can multiply and divide complex number using this formula. So given that we have two complex number of the form r sub 1 cosine theta plus i sine theta, we can multiply this using this formula right here. So if we have z sub 1 given this and z sub 2, which is r sub 2 cosine theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 2, to multiply the two complex number in trig form, all we need to do is to multiply r sub 1 and r sub 2 and add the given angles. And for dividing it, if we have z sub 1 divided by z sub 2, you simply divide your r sub 1 and r sub 2, and instead of adding the angles, we are now subtracting your thetas. So we have cosine theta sub 1 minus theta sub 2 plus i sine theta sub 1 minus theta sub 2. Now the formula might seem a little bit complicated, but once you use it, it's going to be a lot easier. So let's have our first example. So we have two complex numbers, z sub 1 and z sub 2. Let's solve for z sub 1 times z sub 2. So to multiply these two complex numbers, we have 2 cosine 2 pi over 3 and i sine 2 pi over 3 with 8 cosine 11 pi over 6 and i sine 11 pi over 6. So by the formula, multiply your r's. So you have 2 times 8 and then add your um, given angle. So you have 2 pi over 3 plus 11 pi over 6. Same thing with sine. And once you added your radian measure, you'll have 5 pi over 12 for cosine and 5 pi, 5 pi over 2 for cosine and 5 pi over 2 for sine. Now, if we change the radian measure to its degree form will have 450 degrees. So now that it's 450 degrees, let's check if we can use 450 degrees in our unit circle by making it smaller. And if we make it smaller, we'll have cosine 90 degrees plus I sine 90 degrees, which both can be found in the unit circle. So cosine 90 degrees is going to give you 0, and for sine 90 degrees, it's going to be 1. So therefore, we can simplify our product by s distributing 16 to 0 and 16 to I. So therefore, the product of z sub 1 and z sub 2 is simply 16i.
So if you can multiply complex number in trig form, you can also divide these complex numbers. So we have z sub 1 and z sub 2, and we're supposed to divide them. So to divide these complex numbers, all you have to do is to divide your r's and subtract your given angles. So that's why I have 24 divided by 8, cosine 300 minus 75, plus I sine 300 minus 75, which gives us 225, which can be found in the unit circle. By using the unit circle, cosine 225 degrees is negative square root of 2 over 2, plus I sine, um, or I negative square root of 2 over 2. Now to simplify these, all you have to do is to distribute 3 to both these value and we'll have negative 3 squared of 2 over 2 minus 3i squared of 2 over 2. And that's how we multiply and divide complex number in its trig form.